All right, Clean Nation, so you guys have stepped into my office, which is actually just a coffee table, but I just like saying step into my office. So before we get into the Romeo 8T, I need to send a special shout out to my homie, Alex. Uh, Alex, thank you for subscribing, my guy. I'm pretty sure we're at like 32 subscribers now, so praise God, man. Um, and you guys know me, man. I, I never check like specifics and everything. Um, I need to start doing that, man. So I should, I definitely should have checked before <laughs> filming. But uh, yeah, man, check my boy out, man. Follow my guy on Instagram. It's at Alex underscore tra so that's at a l e x underscore tango romeo oscar tango hotel um my guy is he, he's a he's like a finance genius um so i'm definitely going to be joining this team in the, in the coming weeks man so if you guys are short on cash if you need some extra income now this is not a get rich quick scheme um so you know unfortunately it does take money to make money but that's how you know you're not getting something for nothing and you end up sending 200 dollars to some girl you met on ig only to find out it's some fat uh jewish guy in uh in Atlanta stealing your money <laughs> I don't know I don't even know where that went but um yeah man check my guy out if you if you need like some extra income or if you just want to restructure your whole uh career path man and, and maybe quit your job and you know you're really putting in that work to to get to the bag but uh yeah man hit him up on IG see see what my boy can do for you man so Again, Alex, bro, thank you for uh, becoming a part of the Clean Nation family. <clears throat> and hmm, I just cut my hair, man, so still got still got hair coming out of some places. But um, to anyone else that may have subscribed and I can't see you because you have your channel or your account set to private, I greatly appreciate you. So without further ado, you know we don't really care too much about boxes and, and packaging but you know this is pretty much similar to the juliet um magnifier and this is just to give you an idea of what to expect if you want to pick this up so you got your paperwork plug it file it <clears throat> um and it does come with the uh, removable lens covers i don't use these you know maybe if i was deploying a head head you know headed down range um, I would definitely utilize these, but, um, yeah, man, I don't just because I don't. <clears throat> Personal preference. Now, on this red dot specifically, you get like a, you know, it's like a torque wrench and you get this lug nut. So it, it kind of has like a ratcheting system. So definitely not the smallest in the world, but I like it. I like it. I like it, man. And it doubles as a eye poker, you know, if you're ever in need. Now, I don't keep this in the box. Anything uh, that comes with <clears throat> what I'm putting on my my guns, I keep with me uh, in my PDW or personal protection bag. Uh, so that's, that's mainly for field serviceability. And then, of course, you have this it's like star key in there and that is basically for the uh <clears throat> the screws for the, the shroud on the uh on the red dot so and then i'll probably and you get a clean cloth as well so i'll probably sit this over to the side just so i can read off well we can just read it now so you get your uh, high performance coating. Um, you get your it's a removable uh, steel shroud. So, but it is titanium, but it is removable. So, like I said, that's what that uh, star star key star wrench, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, man, I know by now I should be able to articulate in these videos, but you know what? Whatever, man. 
Um, Sean Ryan. I love Sean Ryan of Vigilance Elite. <clears throat> you know, you have this tier one door kicker, Navy SEAL, and this dude, uh, he can't talk for a hill of beans on his channel, man. And I say that, you know, I say that with love. It's endearing uh, when I'm saying it. Um, you know, I wasn't a Navy SEAL, but, you know, in special operations, it is very normal to, you know, talk trash to each other. Or military period, man. But, uh, Sean, I'm pretty sure you'll never see this. But, hey, buddy, I love you, man. I love what you're doing on your channel. Um, I am definitely an admirer, so for sure. Um, but I just brought that up because he gives me confidence to, to do this. Uh, even though... You know, I was trained very well. Um, half the stuff that I'm talking about, I cannot even give you a technical name for. It. But um, so you get the so yeah, you get a quad ballistic circle dot, uh, and it has the you know the holes on it, so you can switch between uh, dot circle and dot or circle with uh, holes. So. And of course, you get that famous six hour MOTAC, that motion activation. Uh, this is, let's see, you get the, so yeah, this is 70, 75. Uh, so that's for the, you know, that's with the titanium shroud. The H is 60, 61. So the 8T is definitely more rugged. Um, let's see. So center height, it's 1.53 inches. Um, and then this is IPX8, so it is rated for 20 meters, uh, submerged for 30 minutes. And then of course you get that infinite guarantee, which is, is I mean, it's amazing, man. I've already used it on one of mine and it, it does what it does. All right, Clean Nation, so as you can see, this thing is war ready. It is basically bomb proof, man. So as I stated, this would be where that star wrench, screw, the driver, whatever, would come in handy if you want to remove this. I will definitely not be. <laughs> um, and then... You see here, this is where you would basically, uh -uh, you would basically place that on there because it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's a ratcheting type system. And then you have your battery here. And if I'm not mistaken, it is a, I oh, gotta go back to the box. What's in the box? What's in the box? Okay, that is from seven. If you don't know, then you are probably too young to be on my channel. <laughs> okay, so it is a, yes, yeah, CR123 Alpha battery. Um, now this thing, I wanna say it is, it is listed at 100,000 hours of battery time. So, don't think you, you would have a problem reaching that, especially with that MOTAC. Um, and it does work. I don't know what people are talking about in older videos, not on this uh, particular object, because this is still fairly new. Uh, it came out about, uh, I want to say maybe a year ago or so. But, you know, just people talking about the, the motion activation technology in general. You know, I've heard things like, uh, if it even works. And I'm like, well, it's very easy to find out if it works. So if it sits for more than two minutes, <clears throat> it will shut off. If it senses the slightest bit of movement, it will automatically cut on and you are ready to go and you are in the fight. Now that is a two MOA dot and it is a 65 MOA uh, ballistic circle. So, very impressive, and we are going to see if we can get you a 
clean shot of what that reticle actually looks like. All right, Clean Nation. So I kind of had to bounce this off the banister on the balcony. Um, try to show you guys, but and I know I say this anytime I'm doing an optic review, but camera is definitely not doing this thing any any justice whatsoever. Um, you can see a bit of a reflection, uh, but that's simply just coming off of the. Uh, the glass panes on the, on the windows that's reflecting off the front of the lens, but uh, it is definitely not accurate to what I can actually see. Um, I mean, you can flawlessly shoot both eyes open with this. The, the eye relief, the eye box on this thing is immaculate, um, I promise you. And then this is pretty much what this is going to look like in the, with the magnifier deployed. So this is just my weak camera skills. But again, man, just super, super crisp, super clear, man. Truly, truly big win. Amazing job on SIG for putting this out. Uh, can't say enough, man, about what SIG has managed to accomplish here. And then, so I'm just going to attempt to cycle you through your different reticle options. So these are your hold dots, your holdovers. It's a little bright. So you're not gonna be able to really see clearly on the camera. Okay, and then this is gonna be your ballistic circle. So your 65 MOA ballistic circle with the holdover dots. Your standard dot. And then back to my personal favorite, the red dot and ballistic ring circle, whatever you want to call it. So that ballistic ring, some people don't like the rings because they are, you know, they claim that it's, it's too busy or they, you know, it obscures their, you know, sight picture. So for me, it just makes for a much quicker target acquisition. So I love it, man. Uh, flawless victory, man. Mortal Kombat. So Sig, keep doing what you're doing. Clean Nation, join me back in my office. Stand by. All right, we are back in the office now. Uh, you will see here, or you probably won't. Uh, this is your, this is to increase your brightness. This is to decrease your brightness. Now, if you want to cycle through the different reticle options, all you need to do is press both buttons in uh, for approximately two seconds and it'll cycle through. So you have to do that each time you want to cycle through. Um, if you want to turn it off, you can hold down either of the buttons for about three seconds and it'll shut off. Um, now it does have 13 settings in all, or light brightness settings. Uh, you have 10 for 10 brightness, and then three for night vision. So, uh, I mean, what, what more do you want, man? What more do you want? So, um, and then of course, here you have your uh, windage and elevation. Uh, these are. Uh, these are half MOA clicks, and I know people, man. Usually they'll, you know, they'll they'll move it just so you can hear how tactile and audible it is. But I'm not gonna do that, man. I have it night, nice and, and tight, just right where I want it. So I'm not gonna bother, man. Just just uh, just take my word on it, man. 
Um, the I mean, there's virtually no parallax. Um, super, super generous I relief. Um, yeah, man, I'm I am just I'm a hundred percent pleased. <clears throat> now, one thing that is irritate me, and I'm just so so OCD about it. Um, I hate the fact that that much of my handgun is being shared. Um, <clears throat> because, you know, I have backup, I have backup sights, magnifier, and this bad girl here. So, I'm sorry, man, nothing's coming off. So, it, it just is going to be what it is. In this case, for for this, I don't care. It's going to stay the way it is. It's going to stay, man. So, um, yeah, man, I highly recommend if you are skeptical about picking this up, pick it up, man. Um, if you can at all, take advantage of somebody's military discount. It is a pretty penny. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it is going to run you, but trust me, man, in my opinion, worth every single penny, man, for sure. This is, this is, uh, this is definitely <clears throat> a mainstay for me and, and this is not going anywhere. Absolutely love this optic, love this magnifier, love this setup. Very, very impressed, man. So. Six hour, it's your boy Clean Cow. Maybe drop me a sponsor or something, man. You know, help a guy out, man. Show some, show some Corona love, man. <laughs> um, so that is pretty much all on this beautiful, beautiful optic. Um, if I forgot to mention anything, or if I forgot to go over anything. Um, just comment in the comment section and I will try my best to answer any questions that you have. So, yeah, man. And then we just got some, some little goodies that came in today. <clears throat> so, as I mentioned earlier, uh, have that Canic TP9 subcompact coming in next month, hopefully. So, um, now Canics, man, they have awesome triggers out the box, but uh, that that Canic Elite Combat trigger, man, I mean that's that's a stop. So, I was just so impressed by that, and I prefer flat face triggers. Um, over curved triggers. So, Freedom Smith is a small company out of Dallas, Texas, and they make some really, really, really awesome uh, triggers for Canic um, and, a, and a couple of others. Shield, I believe. Uh, uh, your your XDs. Uh, they make they make triggers for a couple of different different uh, platforms man so I wanted to get one specifically for the subcompact and this is their fat daddy uh, yeah that name I ain't too sure about that name but um, it's like their fat daddy uh, model and you know it is just wide and I mean, yeah, man. So, definitely cannot wait to get that subcompact to get this installed. So, Freedom Smith, check them out if you are in need of some cool triggers. And then I got another flat face, lightweight trigger from KM Tactical. So, this will be going in the uh, 16 inch Razor AR-15 so I might do that later on just depending on how I feel 
I was hoping to have a red dot installed on the Elite Combat, you know, to uh, review for you guys as well. But this thing is just monstrously big, too big, in fact, for a little old uh, cannon. So it comes mounted already on a Picatinny mount. Let's see if I can get it to come off. There's this rubber cover. So, you know, buyer beware. If you're on there shopping, you know, some of the uh, description can be a little bit misleading, but, you know, uh, Tony Lou, I think I'm saying his last name right, Tony is uh, the president and um, I don't know if he's president of the company but he's he's somebody's president over there <laughs> so uh, Tony man super cool super laid back guy and you know he apologized so he can't be mad at somebody when they apologize so he's definitely already sent out one that will fit my firearm so, once it comes in, you know, do an update or something. Maybe a pop-up video. We'll see how it goes. All right, Clean Nation. So, this has been another installment of A Closer Look. Um, as always, man, I've had such a great time kicking in with you guys on this lovely Saturday evening, and I'll be turning 33. So this time next week, I will be 33. Good Lord willing. Um, I really appreciate you guys for joining, so definitely be on the lookout for... Uh, probably, yeah, the Survivor Sling, that you see, uh, supporting this beautiful masterpiece of a gun, uh, Survivor Sling will probably be the next, uh, review video that we do, so, uh, be on the lookout for that, um, yeah, of course, you know, that, that uh, subcompact, Hopefully we get get it in a reasonable amount of time um, you know, before uh, they put out like another five thousand videos on it. So yeah, man, thank you for joining. As always, stay prayed up, stay trained up, stay dangerous, baby. Stay hard to kill. It's your boy Clean Cow. You are Clean Nation. That's the alpha, baby.